1946s quarter dollar with magnificent toning. Graded as MS-68 by PCGS. This dazzling MS-68 example of an early post-war San Francisco issue combines high technical grade and eye-appealing charm. Delicately frosted high points give way to rolling cartwheel luster through the fields. Blue to gray overtones dominate the interiors, while the margins show gold to reddish-orange patina, those hues covering more of the reverse. A minuscule curving scrape to the left of the eagle's beak is one of the few post-striking faults visible to the unaided eye, and that only with searching. It ended up selling for $11,400. 1935 Lincoln sent with double dye obverse. Graded in mint state 65 red by PCGS. This DDO issue is relatively popular as the only notable variety for 1935. Medium spread is evident on God We Trust, Eyelid and the Date. This issue was widely saved by the roll when released, and fully red gems are thus fairly common. Most are well struck, such as the and those from worn dyes may be easy avoided. The style of three used in this coin's date was a regression to that of 1930. This specimen was sold for $576 on December 19, 2023. 1934 Washington Quarter with Medium Motto. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus by PCGS. According to Gordon Rubel, the letters in the motto in God we trust on the medium motto quarter are sharply defined. To distinguish this variety from the heavy motto variety, just look at the W in we. The center peak is well below the outer diagonals of that letter on the medium motto. On the much scarcer heavy motto variety, the center peak of the W extends above the outer diagonals of the letter. This sharply struck, CAC proven gem was sold for $1,200 on December 17, 2023. 1960 Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus by PCGS. This is a condition census example of the 1960 Washington Quarter, being tied with four other plus graded superb gems for the second finest at PCGS as of December 2023. Expectedly satiny luster characterizes each side, with lemon gold border toning and a few russet flecks. The strike is sharp, and neither side exhibits bothersome abrasions. It was sold for $1,560. 1922 No D. Lincoln sent with strong reverse. Graded as VF35 by PCGS. VF standing for very fine according to coin grading scale. No cents were struck at the Philadelphia Mint dated 1922, the only such emission of the small cent denomination. Cents were coined in Denver that year. Collectors were thus mystified when occasional cents were encountered in commerce bearing the 1922 date but without a letter D below the date. Eventually, Numismatists determined that three die pairs of 1922 D cents lack the D die pair 1 and 3 have a weak reverse and sometimes show portions of the D die pair 2 has a strong reverse and never shows a remnant or ghost of a mint mark. This circulated specimen was sold for $1,080 on December 19, 2023. 2018 D Roosevelt dime struck on a foreign planchet. Graded as MS60 by PCGS. Weight of this error coin is 1.5 grams it contains 98% iron while the expected weight of a clad dime is 2.27 grams. The traditional alloy of steel is 98% iron and 1.5% copper with a trace of other elements. Thus, the present dime was struck on a steel planchet. Presumably, the planchet was purchased from a private firm that also provided planchets for foreign country coinage. According to Heritage Auctions, this off-metal, wrong planchet mint error is steel gray with hints of russet toning. The borders are softly struck, typical for an undersized planchet. No marks are of any notice. It was sold for $2,040 on December 15, 2023. 1961 D. Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, modeled original toning covers each side in russet and golden colors, complementing the satin mint luster and sharp strike. This Denver issue, while plentiful overall, is conditionally scarce at the superb gem level, and such coins are in high demand among registry collectors. It ended up selling for $1,680. 1936 Washington Quarter. Graded as PR67 Plus by NGC. Although the Washington Quarter debuted in 1932, the new design was not struck in proof format until 1936 when denominational proof sets were reintroduced, following the failed matte proof experiment of 20 years before. This high-end superb gem is an excellent registry candidate. Hints of champagne toning grace the glimmering fields and sharp devices. Each side is beautifully unmarked. It was sold for $3,600. 1964 Kennedy Half Dollar. Graded as PR69 Deep Cameo by PCGS. This is a virtually pristine example of the premier proof issue in the popular and widely collected Kennedy Half Dollar series. Untoned silver-white surfaces allow ready appreciation of a boldly cameoed finish. 
Proof mintage, 3,950,762 coins, the vast majority of which are nowhere near as attractive as this premium quality specimen. It was sold for $1,680. 1942 Jefferson Nickel. Type 1 dye variety. Graded as PR68 plus by NGC. This silky smooth example shimmers with a delightful satin to modestly reflective finish and displays a veritable sunset of color at the peripheries easing into the centers on both sides. The Type 1 does not have a P-mint mark. While the Type 2 silver does have a P-mint mark. Both coins have similar mintages. The 1942 Type 1 proof Jefferson nickel can be easily obtained up to about PR66 condition. PR68 plus specimens like this one are considered rare. It was sold for $3,600. 1926 D. Lincoln cent. Graded in mint state 65 red by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, satiny, bright copper surfaces exhibit an uncommonly bold strike in a survivor of this well-known strike rarity among 1920s Lincoln cents. Solid gem quality throughout, and worthy of inclusion in another advanced collection of this popular and widely collected series. The 1926 D scent is relatively common overall but scarce in higher mint state grades. Strike and surface quality are the two compromising factors that make this issue so conditionally rare, and less than 200 coins are thought to survive in gem condition and above from an original mintage of just over 28 million pieces. This specimen was bargained for $4,800. 1943 S War Nickel struck on a steel scent planchet. Graded as AU55 by PCGS. Zinc-plated steel planchets were in use for only two years at the U.S. Mint, in 1943 to strike cents, and in 1944 to strike two francs for Belgium. Thus, a two-year window existed for Jefferson Nickel struck on steel cent planchets. The present off-metal mint error displays the deep lavender gray color expected of a steel planchet. The central strike is sharp. The peripheral legends are partial and exhibit spreading toward the rim, customary for an undersized flan. It ended up selling for $3,120 on December 18, 2023. 1952 Proof Washington Quarter. Rare Ultra Cameo Example. Graded as PR67 Ultra Cameo by NGC. The Mint resumed proof set offerings in 1950 and collector demand really took off in 1952, when a mintage of 81,980 Proof Washington Quarters was achieved. This impeccably preserved superb gem exhibits sharply detailed design elements throughout and the deeply mirrored fields contrast profoundly with the richly frosted devices. Sold on December 15, 2023 for $3,600. 1942 D. Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 68 by PCGS. No Washington Quarters struck prior to the mid-1990s are common in MS-68 PCGS holders. The 1942 D is a good representation of the rarity of these coins, surviving to the extent of just six coins in this grade at PCGS, with another four at NGC. This example displays near flawless, satiny mint luster, and a bold strike. Original multicolor toning adorns each side. It ended up selling for $4,226.40. 1943 S. Lincoln cent struck on a dime planchet. Graded as AU55 by PCGS. 943 dated cents were struck on zinc-plated steel planchets, and had a gray color different than the brown to red shades of Lincoln cents struck in other years. But the present 1943s cent is a wrong planchet mint error, struck on a silver dime planchet, and stands out for its golden brown toning. Circulation wear is minimal, but portions of the coin are lightly brought up. The coin has the appearance of being struck a few degrees off-center toward 2 o'clock, as trust is partial and the obverse rim is wide near 8 o'clock. It fetched a sum of $3,840. 1974 Ike Dollar in Mint State 67. The 1974 will never be rare in most grades, but the third-party census drops dramatically at the MS67 level, and none have been certified finer at either NGC or PCGS as of December 15, 2023. This superb gem displays vibrant mint luster and medium wheat gold toning. The strike is good, and post-strike contact is only incidental. It was sold for $3,840. 1920 Buffalo Nickel struck on a cent planchet. Over the years, Heritage has auctioned two dozen or so 1920 Buffalo Nickel struck on cent planchets. It appears that a bin of cent planchets was inadvertently fed into a press striking nickels that year, and a number were struck before the mistake was recognized by the coiner. The present wrong planchet error made its way into circulation, but displays only a hint of wear. The strike is soft on the bison's hair, though the devices are fairly sharp overall. It was sold for $5,280. Lot of 2000 P. Sacagawea Cheerios dollar accompanied with 2000 Lincoln cent. Graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS. New Mexico artist Glenna Goodacre, 
1939-2020, prepared designs for the new dollar coins that were issued in 2000, featuring Sacagawea as portrayed by Randall Teton, a member of the Shoshone Bannock tribe from southeastern Idaho. As part of their promotion of the Sacagawea dollars, the U.S. Mint provided a small number of examples to General Mills for distribution in random boxes of their Cheerios cereal. Many of those dollars were spent, but others survived, often in high grades such as this superb gem. These Cheerios dollars were struck from prototype dies featuring an eagle with boldly detailed tail feathers, unlike the circulation strike coins. This lovely example has brilliant and highly lustrous satin surfaces with the distinctive golden appearance of the Sacagawea dollar coins. This two-piece set fetched a sum of $7,200 on December 15, 2023. Number 7. 1998 Lincoln sent with wide AM on the reverse. Graded in mint state 67 red by PCGS. This interesting variety was produced using the wide AM reverse hub that was intended for use in striking proof 1998s Lincoln cents. According to Stax Bowers, a glowing pinkish rose superb gem with a full strike and nary a distracting blemish to either side. It was sold for $724.50. 1961 D. Franklin half dollar. Graded in mint state 66 FBL by PCGS. FBL is a designation standing for full bell lines. In the context of Franklin half dollars, full bell lines refers to the level of detail visible on the reverse side of the coin where the Liberty Bell is depicted. The Franklin half dollar, minted from 1948 to 1963, features a design by John R. Sinek, and the Liberty Bell is a prominent element on the reverse. Full bell lines means that the horizontal lines on the Liberty Bell should be well-defined and fully struck, without any weakness or breaks. Collectors often use this term to describe the quality of the bell's depiction on the coin. This toned specimen ended up selling for $1,500. 1955 Proof Lincoln Cent. Graded as PR69 Deep Cameo by PCGS. Shown as a truly memorable coin in a Proof Lincoln Cent of any date. This is a glorious specimen, as the assigned grade suggests, with virtually flawless surfaces dressed in vivid fire orange mint color. Watery fields support satiny design elements, the entire package smooth in hand and virtually pristine. The proof mintage of this issue is 378,200 pieces, not overly generous for the decade, and paltry in comparison to those of later date issues in the Proof Lincoln series. This super rare gem ended up selling for $50,400. 1919s Lincoln Cent. Graded in mint state 65 red by PCGS. An impressive rarity from the early portion of the ever popular Lincoln Cent series, this important gem is far finer than the typically offered mint state survivor we see none of the bothersome striking incompleteness and muting to the surfaces often associated with this issue. Instead, both sides retain full mint bloom and a warm medium orange hue, tinges of pale rose color also intermingled over the surfaces. The strike is sharp throughout and nearly complete. It was sold for $14,950. 1921 Lincoln sent in MS67 red condition. According to NGC, the minting of cents at Philadelphia dropped off rapidly during 1921 as the huge numbers struck during the previous five years proved quite sufficient to meet current demand during this recession year. Unlike most Philadelphia Mint cents, this date is a bit scarce in fully red gem condition. Worn examples are plentiful. This PCGS graded superb gem, displays dynamic yellow golden color with touches of orange red highlight. It was sold for $12,759. 1996 Lincoln sent in MS69 red condition. Excellent modern rarity in terms of grade. According to Jamie Hernandez from PCGS, most Lincoln cents minted in the 1990s are very common since they were struck in large quantities. The 1996 P. Lincoln cent is no exception as the mint struck over 6.6 billion examples. Therefore, finding an example in circulation should be far easy. Only examples in MS68 or higher are scarce. This superb gem ended up selling for $20,250 with buyer's fee. 1949 D. Jefferson Nickel with repunched mint mark D over S. Graded in Mint State 67 FS by PCGS. FS standing for full steps. A beautiful superb gem, iridescent champagne apricot toning blends with billowy mint luster. Impressively full in striking detail, both sides are also expertly preserved and expectably smooth for the assigned grade. Writing in the 6th edition, Volume 1 of the Cherry Picker's Guide, Bill Fivas and J.T. Stanton have this to say about the 1949 D-S nickel. This variety is quite rare in Mint State and highly sought after. Were the author speaking only of superb gems such as this, the more appropriate description would be very rare. This 5-cent piece ended up selling for $18,000. Thank you for joining us on this numismatic journey. If you enjoyed the video, 
Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell. Got any of these coins? Share your stories below. Until next time, happy collecting.